Good evening, everyone. As we enter this next phase of the pandemic, many schools statewide are dropping mask mandates effective tomorrow. But the mandate at Buffalo Public Schools will remain in place until officials reevaluate this Friday. The district's medical advisory team recommended the mandate stay in place this week for schools and for public transportation. The group says it will look at three data points Friday to determine next steps. Those points are local COVID-19 rates of transmission over the last seven days, current pediatric hospitalization rates, and the county's zone color as identified by the CDC. Right now, Erie County is in the yellow zone. But some of the biggest school districts across the state have already made a decision. Albany, Syracuse, and Yonkers all say their schools will lift mask mandates beginning tomorrow. Rochester and New York City have yet to decide. Senior reporter Eileen Buckley tonight on the long-awaited mask decision. Right now we have a transmission rate of about 3.9, and it would be great if we were at about a 3.0. Dr. Cassandra Wright is acting Buffalo School Superintendent while Dr. Kreiner Cash is away this week because of what the district calls family reasons. Wright says as Erie County remains in a yellow level for transmission rates, the district has decided to keep the mask mandate in place this week until the county drops to the green zone. But that medium yellow level is a reason the mask mandate will no longer be in place as of Wednesday in all public schools across Western New York. And we're nearly there. We are nearly there. So uh, what is unique to the city of Buffalo is that there we have to be sensitive to the needs, of, the medical needs of our particular community and how COVID impacts our families. A lot of people are talking about the fact that Dr. Cash is not here in town and that because he's not here, that is part of why the decision has not been made to remove masks from the school district. So decisions are being made. Right now, the decision is to continue to evaluate our data and then make another decision around when it is safe for our particular community to remove their masks. School board president Lou Petrucci says COVID numbers in the city schools have been low, but the district is also waiting for off-ramp guidance from the state. I know that there's a variety of draft documents that have been circulating. Um, you know, Governor Hochul and uh, the Erie County Health uh, Commissioner, you know, asked for the input of school districts across the state. Uh, we were we were all pretty vocal. Families have been waiting um, a long time to get the masks off. District Parent Coordinating Council President and Buffalo School Parent Wendy Mistretta says she has been getting a lot of calls from parents both for and against the mask mandate in schools. I'm just trying to really be very respectful for those on both sides because you know, what we always say is whatever a parent says they need for their child, they're right. Even if the mask mandate had been lifted on Wednesday, I would have my kids continue to wear masks for a little bit. Parent Jessica Bauer Walker is president of the Parent Community Health Worker Association for the city schools. She says her primary concern is to make sure schools stay safe for students. We still have quite a few families and, and children who are not vaccinated, and so that decision to unmask is a lot less safe. Meanwhile, the Erie County Health Department sent out this tweet earlier today saying it has not provided a recommendation to the Buffalo schools to continue the mask mandate. Dr. Wright says she wasn't aware of the tweet and could not speak to why it was tweeted. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.